Isaac sets me, and I'm coming to you with a do-over deck pro profile. This is uh, desk bots, so let's just get straight into it. Um, three number ones, three number twos, three number threes, three number fours, three number fives. Uh, Machina Fortress, two Carcard D, two Max Seeds, kind of the same with the exception of the Pendulum guys and some of the other stuff. Um, three Double Summon, three Machine Duplication, uh, three MST, one Machine Assembly Line, one Limiter Removal, one One for One, one Foolish Burial, three Call the Haunted, two Trap Stun, one Gravity Bind, and one Ring of Destruction. For the extra deck, um, now that it's legal, uh, did not put this in yet, uh, one Trishula, obviously. Uh, one Star Eater, because you can. Uh, one Leo, because you can. One Crimson Blader, one Scrap Dragon, one Thought Ruler Archfiend, because I can. Uh, Stardust, uh, or Stardust Spark, whichever. Black Rose Dragon, uh, Goyo Guardian, and Natria Barkeon, which become much easier to summon now. Uh, one Blackwing Nothung. I'm putting in mainly because I do have it in real life. I'd probably play the Moonlight Dragon instead of it, if, if I had it. Uh, one Beast, uh, one uh, Baomong, um, and then for the two rank fours, one Gear Dragon, and then the last last slot can be pretty much anything you want. Um, I'm just choosing Castell because it's just general, and I don't want things to be destroyed like with Exiton. So, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go into it really fast. Uh, this deck kind of functions very similarly to the uh, last Despot deck. Uh, you're OTKing pretty hard with uh, three, two, and one. Uh, four is my least favorite one. Yes, he's good for getting over things and for special summoning uh, more of your despots so you can get more searches. But again, uh, once the new despot comes out, uh, I'm probably only going to play one of him. Uh, three, number five. I'm playing three, the new guy, mainly because uh, I like the destruction effect for one. Uh, that is very, very good. Um, and then if he's destroyed, uh, multiples of him are destroyed. He does get up to a 1,000 point bonus, which is pretty significant. Um, plus, it makes it easier to get out your rank 6s or rank 7s or your higher level uh, synchro monsters, not ranks, levels, excuse me. Um, I'm still only playing one Mac into Fortress. Uh, more, having more than one, I never want more than one. Um, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Plus, his, being able to like deplete your opponent's hand or destroying cards in the field is pretty good. So uh, um, the main deck boss monster, that's Machina. Two Car Car D, not the best draw engine, quite honestly. Um, Sometimes I wish it was three max C, but two car car is not te technically that bad. So, yeah, um, yeah, he he loses the entire turn for you just to draw two cards, which is okay. Um, but yeah, uh, two max C because it's max C. Three double summon. Um, this is extremely significant because it makes your plays get off easier. Three machine dupe. Uh, you want a machine dupe number two or number one every single time. Um, three MST. Well, actually, no. You can't machine do one because of his own effect. But, um, yeah, you'll, you're going to want to uh, do number two or even number five if you so choose. Uh, three MSD, one uh, machine assembly line. As before, this does wreck your machine do play. So if you're going to activate machine do, activate it afterwards. It does kind of um, work as a dual, uh, another call to haunted. So it is pretty significant. Then for the one offs, one limiter removal because it helps your OTK. Uh, one one for one because it gets this guy out faster, and one foolish burial because um, it gets this guy out faster. Technically, um, for the traps, three call the haunted because you want to. Um, you want to keep recycling your despots. Uh, two traps done because this deck hates back row. Uh, one gravity bind. Uh, be if you do not open well, this is a good card to open up with. Uh, if you're playing anything but an exe spam deck, uh, like for example, um. Burning Abyss. Burning Abyss is probably this deck's, one of those decks' worst matchups, mainly because they keep getting pluses off of being sent to the graveyard. Shadals, eh, not so much. Um, but, yeah. Guardy by not the best card. Uh, not, not not always the best card, but is it's pretty decent in this deck. And finally, one Ring of Destruction. Um, yeah, this is, this is a good card to have. If you can't completely OTK your opponent, um, and your opponent is stupid enough to summon a monster, that is the exact amount of life points they have left. Bring a destruction it, you win. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, um, Barkeon is pretty significant because all your monsters are Earth, as is Beast, and because of the fact that you have Despot 5, it just becomes so much easier to get him out. Um, 
the level 9 Trishilla. This becomes extremely, extremely, extremely easy to get out. If you open up with a double summon a and a uh, 3 and a 1, you get Trishilla. Because you normal summon 3, special summon Despot 5, activate double summon, you also get to pop a card. Uh, activate double summon, normal summon 1, special summon Trishula because 1 is a tuner. Th 1, 3, 5, that's 9. So, uh, yeah. That's it for this deck profile. Thank you guys for watching. As always, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.